Do I, does this make any sense to any of the sisters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. And the brothers are sitting up looking like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got a question. Yes. Okay, now what can a male do? A male, let's see, like I got kids. What can I do to protect my children if my other yesterday woman is, is, is not doing so? I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I don't have all the answers. I give you the ones I got. Anybody can help this brother out? Or around his own his, his own kids. There's a nature woman is close to me. Well, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I imagine it's possible. I'd imagine so. It's, it's it also would, a middle thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's a womb thing. The womb has a certain kind. Of, the womb is like a little bell hanging there. It's like a, it's, 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 it's hanging on these little things, these little tendon things, and it's kind of like a little swingy thing. And it's got this whole frequency going on. And this is all. Well, I erased it. Shoot. I was gonna say this is almost what it looked like. The womb looked a lot like this thing that I just erased. I'm trying to draw it back where it was. <coughs> Looks a lot like that. It's hanging, it's hanging by what? It's hanging by these little, 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 little thin core things. It's, it's over. It's not the fallopian tubes. They're attached, but it, it's suspended by some other little tendons or something. And it swings within the body. It's, it, yeah, it's all, it, yeah. You know, it, it, it has, a, you know, the canals and things come down here. But it's like a little bell, and it's, it's reverberating and vibrating frequency all the time. 24-7, it's on a frequency. I can't describe it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's a womb thing. But, go ahead. Uh, there was uh, a lecture given by uh, Reverend Valentine, and I think that was brought up. Okay. About women. Uh, straddling horses, uh, uh, you know, because they used to ride them side saddle. Mm -hmm. And I said, by, by them changing it and straddling bikes and straddling horses and whatnot, it damages them. That might be true. That's how, that makes sense to me. If Brother Phil said it damages it, it damages it. That brother's dick. He know what he be talking about. <laughs> now, you talking about Valentine, right? Phil right, Valentine, right? right? Valentine, right. Bill Valentine is no joke. If that brother gives you some research, because people that do lectures are only people that read and research and come back and stand in front of the group and give an oral report to a bunch of people that would rather not do the reading. Book report. That's all it is, an oral report of my findings. Phil gets lots of findings. And any time you get your hands on any research from Phil Valentine, you definitely want to take that to heed and take that to heart. Okay? Now. Back to where we're. I think it might be possible for brothers to do it. I don't know how, but I'm sure it's possible. I think if a brother is, even though he doesn't have a womb, if he is a very cognizant brother, what some people call conscious, and that's not the correct word because you can be conscious and not know nothing. Aware. I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying when I say conscious. There are people standing out here at the bus stop that are conscious. That means you're awake. That you, you're up and you're walking around and you can walk and talk. That you're not, asleep, you're not physically asleep. That's conscious. But to be cognizant, which means to know and be uh, uh, on point. If the brother is cognizant and fully aware of the power of his melanin and is man enough to be woman, then he can do it. And most men are not man enough to get in touch enough with their feminine side That's to right. let their woman come out at all. That's right. Because they feel that it's... it's well, they've been told that it's, it's pussyish or punkish. Yeah. Yes. They're at a level. They're yes. point. Why did you just say about you get in touch with the feminine side and then the act of sexual magic? See, because whatever you pull, you can pull down whatever you need from out of that realm, as far as protection or what have you, depending on the position that you and that female is in when you're in the act. There you go. She can dominate him, or he can dominate her. See, y'all like, don't have to. I mean, it's more powerful when you're on the same vibration. Mm -hmm. But let's just say he's on top of her, that he's putting his mindset into her. If she's on top, then it's working vice versa. See, it's, it's, it's who's using it. 
So you need to get with this brother if you want to protect your sons, brothers. He can give you some. He can give you some keys, or at least give you a book. I'm going to get you, let you get into your lecture. Okay. Yes. Creativity is one of the ways to tap into that. We can't hear what he's saying. He's saying when you're being creative, aren't you tapping into your femininity? And I said, well, if you're being creative, that's one way to tap into it. And he said, well, a lot of brothers are creative. And that's good that you are, but when you look around the world, I don't see a lot of brothers that are being creative and creating. I see a lot of brothers that are mm -hmm. hanging out and chilling and trying to figure out and figure it out. And some brothers begging for jobs. Some brothers have jobs. They go to work every day, but create what? Right. It's a difference, create. You know, when you say creative, many brothers can't show you the artwork that they drew or the, the, the jury box or the cabinet that they built. Brothers used to be creative until somebody told them that the tra those people that had trades and blue collar things were less than those that had professional white collar type jobs. Mm -hmm. So brothers that had the trade crafts, a lot of them gave it up. Being competitive. They were shut out. Well, some instances they became shut out, but if you had a trade, can how can anybody that. shut you up? Right on. If you, need, if you got a job, you can get shut out all day. Right. If you can build something, you can find somebody to buy what you built. Yes. Or trade something for what you built. Right. Or drew or crafted or created. <laughs> Even if it ain't your own people that will right. buy it. You can find somebody that will pay you for your wares. Right. We used to make shoes. Brothers used to make shoes. They used to do glass work, they used to do woodwork, they used to do artwork. In Jamaica they still do, but Europeans have come over there and kind of infiltrated and a lot of their wares aren't getting out to the communities that have the money to spend unless a tourist shows up. And then tourists will show up and buy the wares, but they have to wait for the tourists to show up. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of brothers have creative capacity, but they're not tapping into it and creating with it. And unfortunately, a lot of the young brothers that want to learn these trades, the handful of older brothers out there that have the trades, won't even pass them down. Mm -hmm. Oh no, man, I ain't going to teach you that. To the grade. They refuse to pass it down. Every other culture passes down the trade works except melanated people. We mm -hmm. don't want to teach our children anything, but we want to talk about them all the time and complain about them and beat them up verbally all the time and call them a bunch of losers when you made them losers by passing nothing down to them. Right. It's your fault as adults. Okay, so back to the point. We're back to where we were. Um, all right, now, when I say that, you know, the, the woman protects the man, I'm saying this to say it's not enough for the man to just get his jolly rocks off. Okay? By ejaculating his semen and overlooking the needs of the womb he just spit in. It doesn't have anything to do with coming or not coming other than when a brother is coming he wants to try to hold his semen in and, and, and shoot the frequency up as opposed to spitting the, uh, the unless he's trying to make babies instead of spitting the semen out it's more about a body that's weak and a being that's in low spirit in particular hmm. those individuals should retain their semen and not spit it out so much. And unfortunately, when it comes to my brothers, many brothers are in low spirit and, and in weak body. Are you talking about ejac uh, ejaculation? E ejaculation. Not ejaculation. Okay, at w which point? Because right now I just got to talking about ejaculation. Are you talking about before when I said shooting it up? That's ejaculation. Yeah, ejaculation. Okay. Like yeah. Semen. Yes. Would uh, assist uh, the brothers that you talk to and the ones that don't know is it takes three pints of your blood to make one tablespoon of semen. Woo! The brother said it takes three pints of your blood, brothers, to make one, one teaspoon. How much? One tablespoon. One, one tablespoon. One teaspoon. One table three pints of your blood to make one teaspoon of semen to spit out. And this is why you know. 
long as the relationship between a man and a woman, she'll start to resemble him. That's right. Because she's she been he been feeding her his blood. Right. And in return, what she'll also do is she'll live longer than him because she stops me, but he won't. Oh God, now that was deep. Did y'all hear that, or do no. we need to repeat that? No. Repeat, repeat that. <laughs> repeat that. Repeat that. Okay, they want you to stand up and say that again and say that loud enough. Point the camera. Can we point the camera at you? Or you don't want your face on camera. <laughs> what, what I'm saying is, um, say it louder so it can be heard. When, whenever the brother ejaculates instead of injaculates, it takes three pints of your blood to make that little teaspoon of sleep. See, in the back, and you'll notice it because the first thing you'll do is you'll roll up and go to sleep. Mm -hmm. That's that's what happens when you do a blood transfusion. Who? You, you can't do nothing else. See, and then the longer you with this woman, if y'all not having children, but you keep on bleeding. You keep on bleeding. You don't think of it like that because nobody ever told you. And then she outlives you. Because you've been feeding her your blood all the time. And that's what she's starting start to resemble you. Like, oh, yeah, y'all look like brother and yeah, sister. Yeah, you know? Yeah. We're not from the same family, but, but, but we are. <laughs> I've been giving her my blood. So in return, since I can't stop bleeding, she's going to take 20 years of my life. And she's going to outlive me by 20 years. Mm. Uh, now, that was deep. She don't uh, take it now, the lingam, or phallus, very easily absorbs sexual secretions through its head. <laughs> the phallus, which is also called a lingam. Remember I told you guys yesterday that it's called a lingam. When I was telling you when I was telling you about language. <laughs> language when I was telling you about language or linga itch, we're in the linga age of language. That's what's wrong. The linga will very easily absorb sexual secretions through its head. The yani absorbs secretions through the walls and the womb. Then the yani will transform the secretions of both partners and then give potency to the partner if she knows what she's doing. And if she's not on drugs, alcohol, or too much pork. Mm -hmm. Too much meat. No, that's right. Okay? Now, failure to absorb, transform, and then return power essence to the man by keeping it all to herself puts the woman in the category of what the brother was just talking about, which is being nothing more than a vampire mm -hmm. that will milk the man <laughs> of his essence without the benefit of a two-way exchange. See, a lot of people don't know about that stuff. Yeah. See, if you got a guy that's, 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 that's ejaculating in you and he doesn't know about or you don't know how to tell him about ejaculating, as you call it, then you have to know how to give him the energy back, you know, during that transformation. And a lot of sisters don't either know how or don't do it. I'm going to assume they don't know how. They don't know about Right. Now, when it comes to men, before any man ejaculates, he must consider the state of his psyche and the strength of his body, the fatigue of his body. That's why a lot of times sisters, when they're with guys and they can see the brother is not the ones that even have a clue. They may not even know cognizantly or consciously that they perceive a problem, but they'll tell a brother, Oh, that's all right, baby. We don't do nothing tonight. Some of these brothers just want to keep on going. <laughs> and the sister can see that you're not quite there, but you still want to go, so, okay, let's go. <laughs> you know, and if, if she has a clue how to give you anything back, she can give you something back, but it's not good when you're tired or when you are not healthy to ejaculate. Okay? <coughs> now, that's not for everybody. No. The sister was saying the best time is just before sun up, and I was telling her that's not for everybody. Different individuals are on different clocks. Mm -hmm. Now, suppression of semen should never be excessively prolonged, what the brother is talking about. Now, if a couple is in accord, 
and they're mutually attuned, then the ejaculation or the holding of the semen should be spontaneous. And even if both individuals are not cognizant of the science, as long as at least one, like he was saying, as long as, long as at least one of you is, then you can work the science. So if, you, if the sister knows and the brother has no idea, she can still do what she needs to do. If the brother knows and the sister has no idea, he can still do what he needs to do. It's better if you both have a clue, but again, sometimes some people you can't tell them anything about sex. They just don't want to hear it. They'll be like, look, I've been running around for 20 some years. I know what to do, I know what to do, I know how to believe one time. You know, so. Um, let me think here, how much more do I want to give you guys of this? You were talking about, <clears throat> talking about the chakras. There's a good book out, uh, The Astral Body and the Etheric Body, I think by A.E. Powell. They give you color charts that show the auras and the egg formation. And it'll show you, in developing clairvoyancy, how you can see these things in other people. Okay, thank you. Um, when people yoke together, which some people call having sex, when you yoke together or you, when you couple up and you start this gyrating motion or whatever it is that you do in the bed, you create heat and steam. And the heat and steam radiates from the bodies of the individual in a cone of power over the two individuals. I didn't even ask, could I erase this? Okay, here's a bed. A couple of folks on it. They're generating heat. I know, I'm not the best artist. I do stick figures. There's two good books over here on that subject of both male and female, and that's by Mantak Chia. One is called Dallas of Love, Cultivating Female Sexual Energy, and the other one is Flip Side of Cultivating Male Sexual Energy. So that's that's what love. And it's called Dallas of Love? Right. No, it's called Dallas. No, Spell Dallas. that. T-A-O. Oh, that's what I said, Dallas, and then you said, no, it's called? No, Dallas. Okay. Cultivating Male Sexual Energy and also Cultivating Female. Cultivating Male Sexual Energy and Cultivating Female Sexual Energy. And cultivating female sexual energy. By Chia? Mantak Chia. Mantak Chia. Okay, that's... M-A-N-T-A-K? C-H-I-A. C-H-I-A. That's the author. Saying that, because I want it on the DVD. Um, anyway, the, these individuals create a cone of power over the two of them. It is a whirling, spiraling vortex of psychic force that the two individuals release outside of themselves. Now, inside of themselves, they also have rising, swirling energies of the snakes um, producing, producing an ascending vortex of individual power in each of them that is used in tef, te, uh, Tantra for personal transformation called the uh, little, what do they call them, the little Kundalini's? Okay, that, that's too high up. The head's supposed to be somewhere in here. <coughs> Nose is supposed to be in here somewhere. Yeah, also, uh, something you might find hard to get, but uh, um, Jewel Pukum has a, put out a little book like that on that, on that subject for, for black people specifically, though. Okay. Yeah, Jewel Pukum does have a lot of powerful information out about sex and sexuality. Y'all would want to try to get some of her information. If you can get her, well, she's. Uh, if you can get ahead, that wouldn't be a bad thing. I just got a number. Okay. When you were speaking up earlier about the yin dynasty. Mm -hmm. Shang. The Shang and, and the yin for the brothers, you know, the mm -hmm. Okay, this is the stuff that Bruce Lee brought over here to teach. Because his first students were more. See, and this is why they had to cut him off because he was giving you back your, 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 your lineage. He was mm -hmm. giving you back what's Our science. Life. That's our science. That's why they killed him. But what do they have people doing in Christianity? Abstaining. Sexuality is looked down on in Christianity, isn't it? Yes. Keep your legs closed, keep your dress down. 
<laughs> I mean, you know, back in the day, it was all about that. But, you know, we're on some new stuff now. And what do we say about new? Ain't true. New. New. Yeah, so we want to find out what was ancient. Anytime people start talking about ancient, they're talking about you and your ancestors, Aunt Esther's. Everything that was ancient was about you guys. Europeans were not even around then, and I still say they're not a thousand years old. I know a lot of people think, oh, they've been around a few thousand years. No, I disagree. No, yeah. I think they've only been around a few hundred years. I don't think they're a whole thousand years old. That's just the, the evidence just don't show it. Also, when they speak about prime primitive, as you said earlier, and primordial, you're talking about you too. They're, they're, not, they're not a part of that family. Either. They're not a part of much, primate except destruction. Primate family. They took the worst characteristics of us and been beating the planet down with our worst side. So, these snaking energies are Pingala, which is the male on the right, and Ida, which is the female on the left, and they both intertwine around Shushumna, which runs up the center of the spine, or in the center of the spinal area. Raising and evolving this kundalini energy or circular power known as the sleeping goddess brings Sidi, which is also known as great paranormal power. Now these intentional acts are magical and they have potency. This is how psychic protection is conferred on oneself and on one's lover. Yes? And like you just described about the, um, the, the left side being feminine and the right side being masculine. People that's left-handed vibrate because all, all of your organs line up on the left side of your body. So you're in tune with nature, female. I love this brother. When, when you do things on the right side, he, he's just a doer. He just does what he's told. So uh -huh. Didn't we say yesterday we are too right? right. So the, this is the woman giving instruction to the man, like you just said, with the, with the white and left. So you, you, you just broke it down a little deeper. Well, that's all I can do. I don't know a whole lot. I can just give you some clarity. I'm trying to get you clear on this little concept. It's a big concept, but it's a little concept. Okay. Now, what this does is it prevents energy leakage from inside, and it prevents energy intrusions from outside and the polluting uh, 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 influences that are going on around you all day, every day. That's what this is about, okay? The reason uh, you guys needed to know this is because we were talk, I, I, I gave you information yesterday about the melanin and the power of melanin and how powerful you are. Now I'm gonna give you this last thing. We're almost out of time. Ah. We ain't got that much time. Huh? The female side, the left side, Ida. Ida. That's really a bad book. Huh? That's really not a good book. Okay, they wanted me to mention this book. This is the Mon this is Montak Chia. It's called The Multi Orgasmic Man. How any man can experience multiple orgasms and dramatically enhance his sexual relationship. It's by Montak Chia, M-A-N-T-A-C, T-A-K, C-H-I-A is the last name, and Douglas Abrams Arava, which is the last name on him is A-R-A, V like Victor A. And, and that, that, that side of him, that Jew that wrote it with him, it, it, he bastardized most of what in the book. He deals with something if you got a foundation in that and you're dealing with that book you can get caught up in some other stuff though. Man Tai Chi is worth it good, but he is his historian. Alright, let me say a couple of little things little more things in sexuality. I'm not gonna be able to say a whole lot more because we're almost out of time. Mysticism and sexuality are two of the most feared and most misunderstood necessities in life. And these two things are the old way sexuality and mysticism. Fear of sexuality and fear of mysticism are the world's stumbling blocks right now. 
because fear leads to repression and repression leads to perversion thank you fear also leads to a shortness of breath that's one of the first things and one of the easiest things you'll be able to correct or level about yourself is your breathing and leveling that out will start to help level out the rest because there are brothers and sisters that are obviously trying to help level out your mental you understand so if you start leveling out the breathing that will start helping everything else fall into, in, into place so that it'll become more appropriate now I'm gonna have to bypass Let me add, let me let me give you this part. There are three interdependent primary the primary vitalities of motion, and they are as follows. And I gave them earlier. I'm gonna give it, give them to you in the complete name. They're called one, the motion of vital air. The second one is the motion of vital mind. The third one is the motion of vital sexual energy. And as I said before, if you stop any one of those, the other two are messed up. This is what opened the door, because people keep saying, how did these Europeans manage to outpower us? This is what opened the door for Europeans to come into power and jump on the bandwagon of sexual repression with their own females. Brothers started it. They started it. They weren't necessarily opposing the, the Yanni, but they just were just too pro penis. So, as the Europeans' control increased, they began repre repressing the sexuality of almost all melanated people on this earth. That's part of why everything's a mess. Your sexuality, or our sexuality is all messed up. I almost said screwed up, but it needs to become screwed up. <laughs> Just a little too straightened out. Okay. Now, um, this was primarily done by way of religious superstition, force, and trickery. Now, the Europeanized repression imposed on man, who remembers what man is? Supernatural force and power. That's you, though. You, you're correct. But I wanted you to go deeper. By mankind, and mankind was the first melanated man. Hmm. Mankind was the first melanated man. Huh? The archetype. No. When the whole planet was no. black, before we got involved in the genome program, going back to the times of Atlantis, and you and the Muriel, or something like that. Then the European man, who is real mankind. See, man, melanated men are a kind of man. Yeah, who's the image of the female. Right, left. <laughs> yes. But, you guys are still men. You just have to come to know that. Yes? He's the, uh, he's the outer portion of the boom. That's why everything, to get to know him, everything's on the outside. To get That's to right, her, left. Everything's on the inside. Did y'all hear that? He said that you guys are the outer portion, what you said, the outer portion of the womb man. Or the man with womb. Woo. Woo. I had it up there, but I erased it. Woo, man. Woo, man. Okay? But a lot of brothers are so disconnected from the woo man, especially the melanated woo man, that they're all messed up. But that's not going to be a problem for long for you guys. Because now, you have, once you get the clarity and you can see, then it's like, oh, okay. When you get clarity, then you can start taking the necessary steps to get the power that you need from everywhere else. 
That's what these two days have been about, bringing some clarity so you could see what it is that the problem is. Okay? Now, I have additional notes that I need to add to you guys. It is not natural for melanated people to make sex separate from or opposed to spirituality. That's what religion does. Religion makes sex separate from spirituality and it makes it opposed to spirituality and almost makes it a dirty thing. That's what the church did to you. So now we have to get away from the church and their demon, devil, God, perverse, nuasome thing, Jesus, Jehovah, and Zeus. I'm sorry if I'm beating up on some Christians in here. I know there are some. <laughs> But we were all, I think we were all Christians at some point. I was yes. one. Yes. So I can't beat up on anybody and say, oh, I'm better than you. I'm not better than you. I, you know, I was one too. You know, I came to a realization. I got evidence. I got proof. And all you need to do is show me proof. And I'm through. Just like that. You are better off. But it's hard to accept that you've been tricked. Most people are going to, a lot of people sitting in here are going to be in denial about that for a while. No, no, I don't think she's absolutely correct. I know I saw it, but I don't know who wrote these dictionaries. I don't have to believe her. <laughs> there are some people, seriously, there are some people that are here are going to go home with that level of thinking. They're going to navigate a way around everything they heard these two days and say, I'm going to church. And it's okay to go, just know where you are and know what you're dealing with. Know what you're doing and why you're doing it. Because some people go to church, they ain't thinking about the preacher or the, what, the sermon or anything else. They're trying to find a mate. Other people are there because they got businesses and they need to hand out cards and they want to socialize. Know what you're doing and why you're doing what you're doing. And then you're okay with what you're doing. But if you go in there looking for salvation and a savior, you will be in trouble. Because you can only save yourself. Um... Let me see. Now, this is what I want to give you guys before, or did I already give it to you? How much time is on this tape? We have about 23 minutes. 23 minutes. Okay, back in the day, thank you. We knew that man is in woman, and we knew that woman is in man. This was also a mystical Dogon concept. The, matri the matriarchal dynasty was linked to the vital principle of femininity and flowing water. We knew that water is everywhere and is in everything. A lot of our people have forgotten about the aspect of water and the power of water. Now, we also went over the, the first dynasty that mattered, the Hongshan, uh, was run by, it was called, it was a Harappan culture. Look this up too. H-A-R-A-P-P-A-N, I think it is. Harappan? Yeah. I thought they were from the Hindu civilization. Huh? I thought they came from the Hindu civilization. Look into it, brother. <laughs> That's all I said. <laughs> Dang. Huh? That's another P. H A R A P P A N. Yeah. Look into the Harapan and look into the uh, Hong Shan. When, when, when you consider what she said earlier that all all the, the seed people of the planet were melanated people, so it doesn't matter who took over it after you you were put out of position. But they were black folks where they originated their information from. Yes, brother. Go what you just said about water. Every body of water from lake to river to ocean is named according to opinion. Okay. He said every body of water from the lakes to the oceans to the rivers is named after females. You know, I don't know anything about that, but I believe the brother. He seems to me like a brother's done a lot of research. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm one of these, when, the, when I hear the truth, I don't have to challenge it all day and make somebody prove it to me. But I do, I do know when it comes to melanated people that think they're black, 
they need lots and lots of proof. And even when you give them the proof, they still don't want to get it. And, and that's what I do. I save myself. All right. Now let's see here. What else do I want to give y'all before we do the breathing thing? Did you say remind you of something else? The breathing thing. Oh, mm -hmm. just the breathing thing? Was there something else? You wrote something down, I think. You said you didn't want to forget. You wrote it down. Oh, you know, that was back in law somewhere. Was it? I thought you ain't never go over the word visit. I think it was citizen. I never went over the word what? Visit. You told us to look it up. No, I told you guys to look up visit. Oh, okay. I didn't say I was going to do I, I can't, you know, we only have a couple of oh, two no, days. I just didn't want to. I can't do everything. But I did write something down. But that was back when we were in the law. That was citizen. We went over it. Didn't we? Yeah, you were talking about something else. This you didn't write down. You just said remind me. Now you guys were supposed to write it down and remind me. Can I give you one thing? You can give me anything you want, honey. I'm listening to you. You, you were speaking earlier of uh, more or more rich. Okay. And then when you put the ISA to it, it becomes part of something. So therefore, the only one that could be a more is the female. Code letters M and R. The M is the, is the 13th letter. And then the R is the 20th letter. The, the, the M relates to the cats, the vibrates on the nine spheres, your chakras, your mumps, the planets. And the R is rest, which means head. So it's the cat head. Which I like him. Will, which will always be the woman. I like him. <laughs> See, I ain't giving him any information on cats. Okay. You know. I know you spoke in the nine earlier. I, just, uh, I know, but a lot of people don't know about the, the serpent and or the cats. And how that's all about the mel and, and the serpent, the cat, and the bear symbolize, are symbols of the, and the dragon are symbol symbols of the melanated Feminine principle. That's what, hence cat woman. Huh? And bat man, matter of fact, before we close, this don't have nothing to do with the subject matter, but I just wanted to add this. Everybody, has anybody here that's never heard of Batman? Look up Batman in a regular dictionary. And I think we're going to go right on into uh, breathing because I think I've probably overloaded some of you already. <laughs> Say what? 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 Batman. Batman. B A T M. Batman. Batman and Robin. Batman of Gotham City. Him. Look him up. Ding bat. G O T is cat. H A M is black. We're not black now. We figured that out yesterday, but you missed that. Well, no, it's, it's cat. But I'm just saying that that's how they get together. They got to give back to you in code. Right, still. Cat, cat, same, same thing. And like you said, it is coded. People have to kind of know. You know, before, your show me only got 22 minutes. I really want to give y'all this little bitty part. Come on. Did y'all look up Batman? All I wanted you to see is that the word Batman means bastard. <laughs> you don't see that? Because if you need to look in my dictionary, in my dictionary it says bastard. See bastard. That's them. What year is your dictionary? I think it's a 73. Okay, let me give you a little information about old time religion. I don't know about how many people have heard of the, the, from these Moors. One of the things Noble Drew Ali was talking about was old time religion. Old time religion is the supernatural elements within the whole complex of life. It is animatism, which is different from animism. Animism is belief in soul that animates all things, which is still one of our sciences also. And old time religion stresses mana, which is supernatural force and power. It's a psychic electricity conceived by Melanesians, or melanin Asiatics. Now, according to question number 17, for those that have a 101 Quran questionnaire thing in, I don't know if I have one in here or not. If I do, I'll let you look at it. But it's really not relevant. But for people that are into that whole Moorish American thing, 
It says that our religion is Islamism, which is not the same as Islam the way you think you know it. Islam basically means I am self-law and mastery. I self-law master. I-S-L-A-M. I, S for self, L for law, A for am or adept, ship, M for mastery. You master yourself. <laughs> Come on with it. You got something to say. He got some that. In, in Islam, when they call upon the creator of the heavens and the earth, what they did was they misconstrued it. So you said Allah and call Allah as God, but it's not. It's all law. law. Yes, all the name of the law. law. <laughs> that is accurate. But you can't tell some of these people that. It's like, oh, they're Muslims, Muslims, Muslims. Please don't mention a lot. <laughs> Who? A lot. Female oh, aspect that you've been working with for quite a while now. Okay. But what I'm trying to do is help get you back into old time religion or individual self mastery as opposed to everybody else controlling you in your life because your world revolves and evolves around <laughs> you. Now, this is what you need to know it was Pope Innocent the Eighth that launched the Inquisition against old-time religion in 1492. Pope Innocent the Eighth. Innocent, innocent, like you're innocent or guilty. Innocent. Christianity became and promoted a fierce hatred against women. And in the Middle Ages, woman hatred was its central theme. All these sisters need to get the hell out of the church. Now, what the reason was because woman and her sex drive was considered evil because her lust was considered insatiable. In other words, she couldn't hack. No. Couldn't Men couldn't hack. <laughs> she couldn't hack. <laughs> Men couldn't hack. <laughs> this must be made very clear because the old time religion, like women, fell into the class of that which is today considered evil, magic, witchcraft, voodoo, and sorcery. Now what it is, in reality, is truth in science. <laughs> Some of the brothers like this, obviously more than the sisters. <laughs> the sisters are just like trying to get it. In the late Middle Ages, the word witch used to mean woman. Wise woman. The brothers even cleared it up for me. See, make it better. The brother said, oh no, sister, it was wise woman. That's even better than woman. Now see, sisters need to know that and they need to hear it from you brothers. Because they may or may not take it from me. In 1484, the same Pope Innocent VIII produced a bull against witches and declared witchcraft heresy. Now, if witches were wise women, and back in those days, all the wise women were melanated, of course, there were a couple of Europeans that were hanging out with us. Then you need to understand what that's about. And when you get a chance, look in your diction and look up the word heresy. A heretic is one who chooses. The word heresy simply means the act of choosing. So it was against the law and it was made a crime for you to exercise free choice. If you were an independent thinker and you wanted to choose for yourself, you were called a heretic and the Inquisition was about you. Yes, I see your hand and I see you in a minute. The movie is Silent Hill. Silent Hill, that's, a movie. That's the movie about the witches and the whole little thing piece right there. And then the Christianity, what they do is, they, okay, you have the basilica that's in the back. Right? Mm -hmm. You have the basilica in Notre Dame University. Mm -hmm. That's directed towards here, Chicago, 90, 90 miles, 90 degree angle. Okay. Yards. We have another. We have our own basilica on the west side. The one in Notre Dame is covered with real gold, 23 carat. 
Mm -hmm. One in the fat again is not. So all of the energy is coming from there. We got fresh waters. And a lot of melanated people, I'm sure. And somebody over here had the hand up. I could swear I saw another hand up besides his. Alright. Now see, I gotta give you guys this part. Witchcraft is an old pre-Christian European religion, and it only became considered that because there were some European that were following the behaviors of sisters. Some European women were trying to get wit, like he was saying, trying to be like sisters. But um, witchcraft is a, an old uh, European religion that was picked up by these European women that were emu emulating and copying Moors and the science of Moors. Our people felt that the land known as Earth was sacred and belonged to no one, yet belonged to everyone. Because no one could actually own the Earth. She stood before you came, she'll stand long after you're gone, but these crazy Europeans keep killing people over something that they could never own. Not, it's not impossible. But when you're attached to a place because you're from there, you have more rights to it and the resources thereof. That's when they say, this is our land. We as Moors know it ain't ours, but it's ours in as much as we're attached to here. Go back wherever it is you're attached from, which unfortunately for a lot of them is test tubes. So they can't go nowhere because their fathers are monkeys. So, or apes. Um, unfortunately, the, this communalistic lifestyle interfered with commerce progress and private land ownership. Christian missionaries had the audacity to label all aboriginal indigenous autochtons as devil worshippers. And as a result, they and their, the devil worshippers I mean, us, us and our old time ways were pushed aside and destroyed. Once someone was accused and condemned for being a witch, the accuser or anybody else could claim their, that individual's property and divide it amongst themselves or whoever. Church did that. Right, but see, they sent their inquisitors that were officers and agents of the church, the Christian church, and, the, and Christianity is the church of Rome. That's what I was trying to tell you guys about that satanic... Uh, they call the CIA Inquisition. I wouldn't be surprised. He said they called the CIA today the Inquisition. Yeah, but the CIA, didn't it used to be the OSS, old German, some, yeah, and that's about the, the, the Vatican and the Queen and them, they're a bunch of Germans. Yeah, but they came out of the, the Inquisition order. And the Pope today is a German. So the president. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, the Bushes and them are too. But, so you guys have to kind of understand how the game is going. So I'm trying to, trying to clear some things up. So I could come, see, and remember this. Wherever they came was areas where people had something worth taking. Anytime an area was considered poor, there were no witches there, or almost none. <coughs> they would go where people had something to take and go, oh, witch! <laughs> and once you were pointed out as one, you were accused, you were guilty, you were condemned, you were either tortured, burned, hanged, driven out, or whatever, and everything you owned was split up by the people that accused you of being a witch. They just took whatever you, whatever you had belonged to them all of a sudden just because they accused you of something. That's what they're doing today with impounding cars and the, the IRS and all the, the inquisition is still going on. It's just taking on a new face. Yes? Everything you just said for the last five minutes, it's in that movie, Silent Hill. It's a woman in a blue dress. You remember Denzel watched the movie, The Devil in the Blue Dress? Yeah. Okay. The woman in this blue dress, her name is Christabella. It is Barbara Bush. And at the end of the movie, they were focusing on this green bush, this evergreen bush, to let you know who they're talking about and what's going on. Y'all need to go see this movie. Obviously, I got to read it and decode it. Now, how much time we got? Five minutes. So I don't, don't interrupt. I got to get through this within this last five minutes. And the breathing, we can do the breathing off tape. I feel sorry for the people that don't get the tape with the breathing on it, but you guys will have it shared with your brothers and sisters. Um, let me see, I think I already told you that. Okay, in England and New England, 
Witches, also known as nature lovers, were generally hung. They were not usually burned. In Scotland and continental Europe, they were customarily burned instead of hung. Although the exact number of individuals is not quite known, approximately nine million men, women, and children were hung, burned, or tortured until they were dead during the time of the Inquisition and the witch hunts. It appears that the last witches were executed in the following years. 1610 in Holland, 1684 in England, 1692 in America, and how many of you know of brothers and sisters that were hung and burned? Mm. Yeah. And you thought it was about slavery and whatever, and it was nothing but the Inquisition. That's all it was. Yes. That's what, that's what Niagara Falls got his name from. Okay, that's where Niagara Falls got his name from. This brother is a wealth of information. We must stay in touch. In 1727 was Scotland. I don't know if I said that already or not. No. In 1745 was France, even though witch deaths were outlawed in 1731. And there were still instances of people being uh, uh, killed this way in, in uh, France in 1826 and 1856. Now the France you're talking about is not the France over there in Europe. It's in Louisiana. Yeah, France is here. Now a lot of these places are still here. A lot of these places are here. Germany's here. All these, all these places are here. Germany is 1775, 1782 is Switzerland, and these places are here too. 1791 is Italy, 1793 was Poland, and this destructive behavior resulted in the vibrations of two distinctive types of energy fields meeting, and these energy fields creating frictions in people's auras caused uncomfortable disharmony in the nervous system, which is in effect what we call fear. That's what has us messed up. Fear is a sign. Anytime you feel fear, it is your body's way and your frequency's way of telling you something is happening in the energy field that is known as your aura. It may not, you may not know exactly what it is, but anytime you feel fear, something is going on in the area, the frequency in your aura. And make sure you pay attention to that. Like I said before, the best security against fear and attack is a well-fortified aura. I had to share that with you guys because, you know, you're here to get clear. The Inquisition was all about you and taking everything that belonged to you, including the land you stand on, that you think belongs to Europeans, that you think bought you from Africa, and they found your ass here. That's why Malcolm X said, we never landed on Plymouth Rock. Plymouth Rock landed on us. We were here, these honky, sh uh, excuse me, Europeans <laughs> showed up, jumped on your back, lost their minds, shoved Christianity down your throat, and took everything that you have. They came with the Bible, and you had the land. Now you have the Bible, and they have the land. Thank you for your two days. All right.